the town of Chikatik on Virginia's eastern shore, seafood and horses are as important as the family car. The 4,000 residents on the island rely on both for tourism and commercial interests. The wild horses attract many visitors to the community during the warm months, but it is the seafood industry in this town that continues to generate jobs and money throughout the year. The 10, 12 million dollar business, that's just in some place, probably 20 million a year business in and out of here. Each year, the Chikatik Inlet, the only route from the harbor for the fishing fleet to reach the ocean fishing grounds, develops dangerous underwater shoals. But thanks to the Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and their ability to utilize the core dredge Curatuck, the inlet will remain clear. It'll be dredging for about 21 days. They move about 6,000 yards a day, provided good weather. Uh, overall, we'll probably be moving about 80,000 cubic yards of material if everything cooperates with us. Material, which is essentially beach quality sand, will be placed just offshore of NASA's Wallops Island facility to help slow erosion. We're taking the material from the inlet and using it as a resource, placing it in the near shore so that the waves drive it up to the beach eventually. As with any federal project, the ability to dredge the inlet is subject to available funds, which local business owners hope continues to occur. If this inlet fills in, we don't keep it dug out, no. We'll be out of business. The people working here on the dock, the people in the businesses will be out of business. It, it just affects everybody right down the line. From Chicoteague, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.